We wanted to get to the bottom of how local hospitals are responding and what you can do while there's so many Ebola concerns right now. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Amber Nakotra went straight to an expert at an infectious disease symposium being held this morning at Mon Valley Hospital to get you some answers. It's the concern that has local health care officials talking and preparing what to do in the event of a possible Ebola outbreak here. About 100 area health care workers packed Mon Valley Hospital, where this very issue was one of several topics discussed. I think each time we hear that uh, a health care worker uh, tested positive for it, I think it increases our concern. Um, and it, it's, it's a concern. It doesn't rise to a level of anxiety. The Center for Disease Control has been in constant contact with hospitals like Mon Valley through email and conference calls. They've been offering advice on how to protect both the staff and patients if a patient has been diagnosed. One thing that they recommended was maybe having a portable lab right outside of the patient's room so you're not transporting blood and other body fluids as far as you, we normally do. Mon Valley now has what they call an Ebola cart that has gowns, protective eyewear and masks and the staff has been trained on how to put on and remove the equipment. We're, we're hanging up posters of the proper way to, to put it on and to remove the clothing. Uh, we're just reinforcing, retraining, refreshing everybody's memory of the proper way for things to get done. And although this is a major concern, she stresses the public should not panic. The, you know, the CDC is certainly um, wrap their arms around this and rest assured that they are sharing information on an ongoing basis with all the hospitals in the country. Amber Nicotra, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.